in this video we are going to discuss about semi group in algebraic systems let we have an algebraic system called s comma star comma plus here s means a non empty set that means set must contain some elements where as star and plus are nothing but binary operations which are performed on s binary operations instead of star plus we can use only star or we can use only plus or we can use minus we can use division we can use any other symbol as we want an algebraic system s star plus is called as semi group if it satisfies two properties the first property is closure property the second property is associative property the second property is associative property so an algebraic system is called as semi group if it satisfies two properties they are closure property and associative property so let us see about uh, these two properties closure property what is closure property closure property closure property means we have to take two elements from the set so for any two elements for any two elements a comma b belongs to s then here algebraic system contains uh, two symbols s let we have star and plus also then if this is closure property if a plus b belongs to s and a star b belongs to s then we can say that uh, uh, plus is closure property then we can say that the closure property is satisfied uh, let us take an example for this uh, let we have uh, uh, a set of numbers like uh, from 1 to n we have several numbers so closure property means we have to take only two elements from the set let us take uh, one and two from the set one and two from the set so one comma two belongs to s then if a plus b belongs to s one plus two belongs to s and one star two belongs to s then we can say that closure property is satisfied one plus two means three so three is present in the set one into two means two two is also present in the set uh, from one to some infinity let we have so 3 is present in the set 2 is present in the set so we can say that closure property is satisfied now let us see the second property the second property is associative property associative property associative property means we have to take three elements from the set so for any for any three elements for any three elements a comma b comma c belongs to s associate to here s means same symbol so if a plus within the parenthesis b plus c is equal to a plus b within the parenthesis a plus b plus c and same symbol if a star b star c is equal to a star b star c belongs to s yeah if if if, if this property is satisfied if it is equal to uh, if lhs is equal to the rhs as well as if this property a star b star c is equal to a star b star c then we can say that associative property is satisfied so associative means we have to take two elements from the set uh, so let us take 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 comma 3 associative means we have to take three elements from the set so 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 means 5 1 plus 2 So one one plus two means three three plus three, so six is equal to six. So we can say that associative property is satisfied. Likewise, one star two star three is equal to one star two star three. So one star six is equal to two into three. So six is equal to six. So condition is true. So we can say that associative property is satisfied. Associative property is satisfied. Uh, let us see some examples for, for the semi group. Uh, let e means set of even numbers let e means set of even numbers 
so so we have to check whether e comma plus e is semi group or not now what are the even numbers so 2 4 6 8 10 so on are the even numbers so how we can check whether it satisfies semi group or not so we have to satisfy closure property as well as associative property closure property means we have to take two elements let us take 2 comma 4 2 plus 4 means 6 2 into 4 means 8 so 6 and 8 are present in the set so we can say that it satisfies closure property let us check whether associative property is satisfied or not associative property means we have to take three elements from the set so 2 plus 4 plus 6 is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6 2 plus 4 means what 2 plus 4 plus 6 so 2 plus 4 plus 6 is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6 2 plus 4 plus 6 means 10 2 plus 10 means 12 so here also 2 plus 4 means 6 i'm sorry 2 plus 10 means 12 so here also 6 plus 6 means 12 so it's at so addition this is also true so we can say that this is semi group likewise uh, uh, we can solve any problem so let we have a set called uh, w comma star w comma star here w means a set of whole numbers whole number means from 0 to infinity so 0 1 2 3 so on infinity now we have to check whether w comma star is semi group or not so for that purpose what we have to do we have to take two elements from the set and check whether whether it satisfies closure property or not and then we have to take three elements from the set and then we need to check whether it is satisfies associative property or not so this is about semi group in algebraic system